what's up guys welcome back to another day of vlogmas and today i'm sharing my very last dollar tree haul of 2020. so i really went in there more or less for things for mason's birthday and I had a specific list of the last few things that I was gonna need for either Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers. And I just picked up a few other things while I was there. So I'm pretty excited to share with you what I found because I think what I did find, I don't have a huge haul for you, but I think what I did find was like major scores. So I'm excited to share with you guys that. Now I'm gonna ask you bear with me just a tiny bit. I slept like weird a couple of nights ago on my arm and my shoulder and I have been struggling. Like I had plans today that I had to cancel and I pretty much pulled myself out of bed just to sit and film this so that I had my video for today. But I'm having trouble like vlogging. Like I can't hold the cam camera out because my arm, like I can't support it. So hopefully I'll be able to hold the things out for you guys to see it i almost filmed this haul like a grocery haul style just to be able to you know still share with you but not have to hold things up so bear with me if i look a little out of sorts because i am definitely struggling just a tiny bit but i'm gonna get into the things that i found and they're pretty much in no specific order i'm just gonna pull things off of the floor that i took out of bags so this you guys is probably the best christmas gift of the year and it is a gift to myself. And if I knew the lady at the register was gonna ring it up like that, I would have bought like 10 of them. But they had a whole bunch of these just sitting out on the shelf, but I'm sure that they were meant to be unpacked and put singly inside of their refrigerated cooler. All the other Fiji waters that I've ever bought from the Dollar Tree were cold inside of their snack zone. But there, there were a whole bunch of like pallets and boxes that they were unpacking, and these were just sitting out on a shelf by the snack zone, but they were full like this and a whole bunch of them but I love this water and so I just figured I would buy six of them anyways because I've only been buying three or four of them but they rang this entire Fiji six pack up for a dollar so I got six bottles of Fiji water for a dollar like if that's not a Christmas present I don't even know what is but I absolutely love these they're only 11 ounce bottles so they're not ridiculously huge but they're perfect for throwing in my purse if I'm just gonna go on the go where I'm not really going on the go too often but when I do I could take a bottle in my purse with me but I'm obsessed with Fiji water I love it so to get a six pack for a dollar was a huge score so I got a couple more drink items and I picked up this Martinelli's Gold Metal Sparkling Apple Wildberry 100% Juice and it just comes like in this little fancy looking wine bottle. I got something similar to this and I saved it for the kids to give it to them on Thanksgiving. We were having a glass of wine. I felt like they would feel fancy if I poured it from a bottle like this. Mason did not like it, but he's not really one for carbonation. I can't really get him to drink soda. That's not really his thing, but Maya, <laughs> That girl's a different story and she downed it like a wino. Like she was just chugging it and she drank his and she drank hers and she asked for more. And I was like, honey, it's only a small little bottle. Like I only bought a little bit. So she was disappointed when the bottle was empty. Uh, so I pick up another one of these so I can use it, you know, like Christmas day or Christmas Eve, whenever we're doing like a fancy dinner. And then I also picked up one of these Razzleberry Peace Teas. So the name of the company is Peace Tea and it's Razzleberry is the flavor. But I thought this was a pretty good deal for a dollar, like this big, large can. And I think that this is something that Daryl would enjoy. He loves all kind of like raspberry and that kind of flavor, especially like in a tea or a lemonade. So I think that he will really enjoy this like on his day off to have something cold to drink out of the beer cooler or something. And then I picked up this. Like I would never get a three liter bottle of generic soda like this, but this is cranberry ginger ale. If you guys know me, ginger ale is one of my favorite sodas and I usually get it for myself and treat myself. But back when I lived either on Long Island or in South Carolina, I shopped often at BJ's. And BJ's would always come out with the Canada Dry seasonal pack during this time. And they would have a regular, like the cranberry and then a blackberry. And they were so, amazing and I miss them like I haven't seen it at all this year and then I saw the cranberry ginger ale and I was like all right 
I'm gonna use this to make some kind of punch for us, for the kids or whatever um, on Christmas day or Christmas Eve, like I said, like one of those days, I'm gonna use this cranberry ginger ale and make like a fun little punch. So I picked this up for that. I guess we'll stick with the food finds and for the first time in a long time, I saw a big box of cereal. They've only had either the little mini boxes or the travel size boxes. It's been a super long time since I've seen like a family size box and we are totally good on cereal. Like I didn't even need to buy this, not for the dollar, but I shared with you guys in my home decor tour, if you saw that, if not, I'll link it up above. But when I was going through my cookbooks, I found a Walt Disney World Merry Christmas cookbook that I left out for the kids and they keep going through it when they're sitting at the breakfast table and talking about all the recipes that they would like to do. And they both chose a breakfast recipe, ironically. And Mason chose these like cereal bars almost that you make using Cheerios. And we don't often buy that. So I saw the cinnamon Cheerios, which is one of the things that the book called for at the Dollar Tree and the large size, so for a buck. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Mason is super excited that now we're gonna go ahead and make those cereal bars. So I picked this up for that. I thought that was a good deal. And then my husband is obsessed with the Ritz Snapped crackers and I first got them at the Dollar Tree. There was a two pack and I put one away for his stocking and one that I just gave him like to eat. And when I gave it to him, he said it was the absolute best cheese it that he's ever had. He thought they were so, so good. So I went to Sam's Club, I think, and bought like a big case of these Cheez-Its because he thought they were amazing. And then I saw these. So these are like a Ritz version of those Cheez-Its snapped. So they're called Ritz Cheese Crispers. And this is in the cheddar flavor. And you can see the way that it looks. It looks just like that cheese it snapped so i think daryl's gonna really like it we love ritz crackers in this house and again for a dollar it was worth it for him to try and then i also saw these so my kids absolutely love the minions they have every minions movie they love it and this is new by nimbisco and it's minions cookies and it doesn't say what flavor it looks like just like vanilla kind of flavor but i thought it was kind of cute just to switch it up the snacks a little bit this is not something I would normally buy because I usually do like a grocery store pickup or something. I don't go inside or I go inside of like Sam's or Costco where they wouldn't necessarily sell this. So I thought it was cute. It has Kevin Stewart, Gru, Otto, and Bob are all the different characters. Let me get it to focus so you guys can see. But it has all different minion characters right there on the side. So I thought that was cute. So I went ahead and picked this guy up. So then I just went ahead and grabbed this big bag of rice. Does it say how many? This is a two pounds bag of rice for a dollar. And it's Pampa, which I use that brand all the time of like their pie fillings, their pumpkin, all of that. And the dogs were low on rice. We don't eat rice too, too often, maybe every other week or so, but the dogs use it in their food. And they were having some bowel issues when we first got to this house. I think it was just nervous tummy of them, you know, just getting adjusted to moving and everything. But, you know, obviously rice in their food just kind of helps regulate those tummy issues. So I just went ahead and grabbed some of the white rice for them. And then I grabbed the Snyder's pretzels in the butter snaps. They had the regular snaps and then they had the butter ones. I love the butter ones, but there's a food hack that is in the dessert and booze hack book. That is a really yummy, you guys know, it's like a play off of a regular old throwback kind of dessert, but they do it just a tiny bit different. So I'm excited to share that with you guys but we needed these kinds of pretzels to do that. So I went ahead and picked up the Snyder's Butter Snaps. Can't beat this brand, this kind of size bag for a dollar. So this is the last of the food stuff that I have. And some of it is stocking stuff for like candy. And then these are little Tasty Cake mini donuts. It's the white powder kind. I actually thought maybe our ELF, sorry, spelling just in case there are little ears by me by you um could maybe bring this to make a snowman for them so 
I pretty much have everything already planned out for the rest of the time. I have it in my phone and I made a list of every single day, um, but maybe I can just throw this into another day. I could just save it for a themed lunch or something like that, but I just thought it was super cute. Um, I've done this once before, so when I saw them, I was like, eh, let me grab them again to have the option in case I choose to do that. And then I got three of these. So these are brand new and they're by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but it's the dark and the thins. So I really love like the thins because I feel like it's not overwhelming. Like I like peanut butter, but I like more of the chocolate, especially when it comes to dark. I love dark chocolate. I prefer that over any kind. And so I love the thins, although I didn't get this for me. I got one for hubby, one for my oldest Jacob, and then one for Paul for their stockings. But all three of them love peanut butter. All three of them love dark chocolate and the bag of Reese's Thins I just thought was super cute. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I grabbed one of these to put in the candy dish, but it's probably going to be for mom to eat. And then one to put in Paul's stocking because we both really enjoy this flavor. So this is the Andy's candies, but it's the cherry jubilee kind. And these only come out during Christmas time and I absolutely love them. And I was with Vanessa and she was like, oh look, it's the cherry Andy's candies. And I was like, ah, oh, give me one of those. Like I'll get one for Paul for his stocking. And then I was like, never mind, give me two because I'm going to want one too. Because these are just so good. And like I said, they're only out during this time. It's a 2.75 ounce bag. So not bad for a dollar, but one will be, I'll probably just put one in my stocking and one in his. I could buy my own stocking stuffers too, right? Nothing like helping out the hubs, you know, he works a lot. So mama's got you covered. I'll fill my own. Um, and then I saw these and I thought this was a pretty big bag for the Dollar Tree because it's Black Forest as well. And it's a big eight ounce bag. Like this is pretty big. It's not one of the ones that would normally hang on a peg this was on a shelf and it's the juicy bears so it's the ones that burst in the center i'm not sure if jake would like these i know that if he doesn't mark does so i can just put it with mark's christmas present but i'm pretty sure that jake will enjoy these and i'm already making him this huge gummy basket so i just picked this up to add it to the ever-growing gummy basket that i've already been collecting for for the last couple of weeks just one set of plateware. I absolutely love poinsettias. It's like one of my favorite decor pieces of Christmas time. Like I just love the simple red, white, and green, and I love the look of poinsettias. So I got one of the napkins, and then I got one of the paper plates, and we're just gonna use this for Christmas day. How many plates are in here? 18, so there's six of us. Even if we use them for Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day, we still have enough. So I picked up that for that. And then I also went ahead and picked up some tissue paper. I have a variety of different kinds of bags, like all different colors and styles. And so I went ahead and just got the white one with all the little different like sparkly stuff on it. And I feel like for this one, you get more for your money. The one that have colored sheets are less for the dollar, but the white ones or the white ones with sparkles are 20 sheets for the buck. So I just went ahead and picked up one of these for all of my gift bags. We are wrapping this weekend. My OCD is killing me right now because I kind of sat off center so that I can use more of my left hand to show you things and not lift my right shoulder and it's throwing me off because I keep trying to like lean this way and be back in the center of the camera but then that doesn't work how I, s don't ask it. Uh, it's, it's operator problems today. Um, vlogging issues for sure. All right, so movies. You guys, I love when I score movies at the Dollar Tree because we have a minivan that has a movie movie theater in it. Oh my goodness, you guys. It has a DVD player with a TV in it. And no matter where we go, whether we go down the block to get gas, my kids ask for me to put on a movie. So they forever have a movie on. They like to go to bed to a movie and they get bored of the same stuff. So when I can get movies for a dollar, it is a jumbo score. And most of the time it's all things that, you know, are movies that maybe didn't hit the movie theater. So they're things that the kids have never seen but would still enjoy so i've showed my kids all the honey i shrunk the kids and they loved every single one of them and this is help i've shrunk the family so it's not the exact honey i shrunk the kids but it's the same like concept 
So I thought that was pretty cute for a dollar. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. And then this one is called Two Tails. And it says Bob the Beaver and Max the Cat are unlikely pair who become best friends. And so this is about like aliens landing in the forest and how the two friends deal with it. So I bought this one. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to divvy these up to the kids, but I'm just going to wrap them and put them under the tree for them. And then this one is called Chloe to Chicken to Fly. So this is the adventures of a chicken who is too chicken to fly. So I thought that was cute. So we got that. This one I know for sure I'm going to give to Jake because Jake is an animal lover, but more than anything, he loves dogs. He is a dog 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 lover so this is called the dog lover with james ramar and leah thompson and it says it's based on a true story so i think he's going to love that he's a softie so if it's a tearjerker he'll be all about that and then this one is star dog and turbo cat so i think mason will really really like that that looks like the dog from that disney movie up right does not look like that so I don't even know, maybe it is him, I'm not sure, but is it a Disney movie? Does it say? It isn't a Disney movie, it doesn't say. So I don't know, I think they'll like that. And then we got them this one that says Acorns Operation Crackdown. The team is in place to crack the case. So that looks really funny. The kids actually like to collect acorns. They call it their nut collection and my entire coffee table was filled with acorns when we moved it like we picked it up and all we heard was whoosh while all the acorns were rolling back and forth inside of the drawer so i think it's ongoing joke with us with the acorn so i think that they will like that and then this one's a double feature one says daddy i'm a zombie and the other one is mummy i'm a zombie and maya for the longest time was into vampirina she absolutely loved vampirina and they're always joking about being zombies and eating brains i don't know they're my kids are weird but i think that they will enjoy that i think both kids will enjoy that so we picked that up and then this one says lewis and the aliens it also has Leah Thompson in it. I don't even know. Uh, apparently she was really popular this past year or so. Um, but this says the extraterrestrial extra trouble. And it looks like that. So another movie I'm sure the kids will enjoy. And last but not least, this says a minuscule Valley of the Lost Ants. And so it looks like a movie with like ladybugs and bugs and ants and all that. And if you've seen any of our school videos that we were filming earlier in the year, my kids are obsessed with bugs. They have bug knowledge like you would not believe. And so I think they're going to enjoy that movie as well. But I think that that was 10 movies, 10 movies, $10, you guys. Like you cannot beat that. That is hours and hours and hours of enjoyment for my kids for that amount of money. So I'm definitely a lover of scoring DVDs from the DT. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna try and be quiet the best that I can in case I have listening ears around me. But I did pick up this gift bag, and if you can see what's on the front, a C-A-T. Um, this is going to be the gift bag that we're going to put all the C-A-T stuff in and give to the kids first before we present them with the C-A-T. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up this. This is the only thing that I paid $5 for in the plus section, but even $5 I think is amazing for this because it's heavy duty, but it's a pet carrier and it's made really, really good. And it says that it is for dogs and cats under 20 pounds. It is green briar, but like I said, it is, it feels really, really heavy duty. And this is just gonna be perfect for, you know, taking him to the vet to get his second round of shots. He is a rescue, so he's getting his first round of shots with the ones who rescued him, but then we'll have to go ahead and you know get him the rest and stuff and even transporting him back from where he is right now which i'll get into in just a second so then i went ahead and grabbed him some snacks oh wait there's another one yeah there is so i grabbed him these they're temptations and they're crunchy outside soft inside and this is the creamy dairy flavor so i got him those 
and then i also got him these they're the pounce moist chicken flavor because he's so little right now that he can't really eat any of the big like ones that you can get they have to be more like really soft and tender chewy ones so i picked these up for him and then he's gonna end up with two of these maybe we'll do one upstairs and one downstairs um but i picked up this a two section pet bowl and it's in blue because you know he's a boy and so i got him the blue one you know one side for his food and one side for his water and then i also got him there should be another one of these too oh yeah there is sorry like do you see i'm like Ugh, trying to turn around the shoulder hurts so bad um so i got two of them i got one that looks like yarn and rope for him to play with and then i also got him this little one that looks like you know a wire basket and then inside is a little mouse for him to chase now i said to you guys before that i went with vanessa from lemonade mom but she is actually the one who was watching the cat for us right now um he was a rescue but he was going to be able to leave his mother the mother was abandoned and pregnant and so the people rescued the abandoned mother and the mom had the kittens and then he's been staying you know with his mom until he was able to leave and so he was just eight weeks on tuesday and then the woman who rescued him pretty much wanted them all to go soon as they were ready to leave and that really wasn't going to work unless we planned on giving our present early and so she offered to hold him for me for the next you know at that point it was 10 days and we're gonna go get him from her on christmas eve so that we can you know bring him home and do the whole big hurrah but i couldn't leave her to have to go and get things for him like he still needed things at her house for the first 10 days that he was going to be there so i went ahead and picked up a set of bowls for him one for water one for food that i sent home with her as well i also sent her home with a package of nine lives also soft and chewy snacks for him so that she can give him some treats as well i've already picked him up a bunch of food like specific kitten food to drop off to her so that she was able to feed him and then i bought one of those self cleaning litter boxes that i've already dropped off there but of course I didn't read it because I'm guilty of that. And so the litter box is not supposed to be recommended to be plugged in to self clean until they're six months or older because I guess they're too small and they don't want them to not know to get out or to be in there when the thing sifts so they don't get stuck or maybe they're, maybe what they release is too small like for this thing to filter out i don't know but in the instructions it says when we set it up at her house that if the cat is six months or younger it shouldn't be in there so i also bought a litter scoop so that they can scoop while they're there um whatever is in his box and then i also bought two packages of toys for him to have which she said he is thoroughly enjoying so i bought one of the fun ones on the sticks and she said he absolutely loves to play and he's enjoying that and then i bought one that had like you know the little balls and yarn and mice and stuff like that in there so she went ahead and took all of those things you know home with her from when we were at the dollar tree together so that he can go ahead and use those things but i am super excited you guys and i know my kids are going to be super excited i just hope that everything goes well with um him transitioning into the new house with us he's already had one owner and then now he's there for 10 days and now he's going to be here plus we have dogs so fingers crossed this goes well but i know that my kids are super excited and i think what better time than now while we're all quarantined and home to really sit and work with him and get him to be a member of the family as if we need it anymore all right you guys so last a few things so i did go ahead and grab some of these huge bath bombs i saw vanessa haul them in her dollar tree haul and i was like wow those are huge bath bombs and these are walmart i believe these came from walmart this is the onyx bathhouse and this one is mermaid life in honey and pear and this one is omg a unicorn in strawberry and jasmine 
and my kids love them some bath bombs so for a buck i got one for each of them i know they're kind of girly mason doesn't care he just likes bath bombs so i'm gonna throw them in their stockings i've already filmed my stocking video which i'll link for you guys up above but that always happens that i film the video and then i find other things to go ahead and throw in there uh, especially this. I think I'm going to throw this in Jake's stocking. I'm not sure. I could wrap it and put it under the tree because it's kind of a big box. But I've been seeing these all over and I actually bought one of these. Well, I bought two of them and they were $20 a piece from Walmart as gifts for men that I wasn't really sure what to buy that man. I went ahead and, you know, bought one of these things. But this says a new, it's like an as seen on TV thing and it kills viruses in seconds. So it's a safe and healthy disinfecting UV light. Kills 99.9% .9 of harmful virus germs and bacteria. And you're supposed to use it for like your phone, your keys, you know, all that kind of stuff. You can put it on toys, you can sanitize your masks, your electronics. You can even sanitize like your shipping boxes when they come to the door. You can run this wand over it and like sanitize it before you go ahead and touch anything, your shopping cart, whatever. But I thought for a dollar that was a great deal and I think that Jake would really enjoy this. And so I went ahead and picked this up for him. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna throw that in his stocking or wrap it and put it under the tree. But then I got this for hubs, you guys. This is a really good belt and this was only a dollar. This was not in the plus section but this is a really heavy duty like strong belt it's not poorly made at all it's reversible so one side's brown and one side's black but I just mentioned that Daryl um has gone down a pant size since he started this job and so I got him a new belt because he's already like adding notches and the one that he wears to work just to keep his pants on and so I went ahead and grabbed him another belt this is by the American accessories brand I don't know I've never heard of that brand before and it doesn't say green briar but look it says $5.99 each or two for 10 on the back so I'm not sure where these came from but they're definitely not worth a dollar. Well, I mean, they are worth more than a dollar, but they're definitely not, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's a good deal for a dollar. So I thought that was good. So I went ahead and scooped that up for the hubs. So speaking of the hubs, I went ahead and picked this up for him too. This is an eight in one multi-use knife. So like a Swiss army knife. He had one and it broke. I'm gonna get him a really good one for his birthday, which is only two weeks after Christmas. But I wanted him to have something for right now because he literally uses it all of the time and so this one says it's a scissor a knife a phillips head screwdriver a can opener a bottle opener a nail file a flat screwdriver and a corkscrew so i mean i don't know how good it is as opposed to the one that i just picked him up but it'll definitely do for now and it'll be an extra stocking stuffer because I didn't have a whole lot for his stocking. So I know he'll enjoy that. And then this is for my stocking. So I think this is so cool and I feel like I should have bought one of these for everyone. And this is called a no touch key. So it's meant for you to like open doors with, push elevator buttons, push the ATM buttons, push like the little kiosk when you, you know, slide your debit card or whatever like the debit card machines and it's just on a little keychain and it comes with you know the shape for you to go ahead and either open the door or use it to go ahead and poke the machine so probably wouldn't have seemed as cool last year but you know what this year right now you know nothing would surprise me about how cool the most random things are so went ahead and I picked that up and then I found these I've gotten these before. These actually used to be an Ibotta rebate at Walmart. You were able to get it for free. Like, you know, you purchase it, then Ibotta will give you the full amount back. But I never tried this one. The one that I tried was like for moisture, like um, extra moisture. And this one was intense repair. So they're by L'Oreal. Oops. And they're called Ever Pure and it's actually a hair sheet mask. So it's one like giant, uh, almost like a 
shower cap and it comes with all of the solution inside and so you just put like your hair in it and then you would just wrap it up like that and then you leave it in the shower until you're ready to rinse and then you take the plastic out and you rinse your hair so I did try the moisturizing ones and I really did like them it was kind of weird to get used to putting your hair like in that cap it's almost similar to when you do the foot masks or the hand masks and you stick your hands like in those gloves or your feet inside of those things and you wait it was kind of weird to wrap my head in that in the shower and wait to rinse it out but if you can look beyond that it itself worked really good on my hair and that was just the moisture one but i think that the intense repair would be even better for my hair so i'm excited to give that a try I picked up another one of these chalkboard markers. I look every single time that I go to the Dollar Tree for whatever colors that I can get of these. I've actually looked these ones up on Amazon. These are Green Briar and they sell them Green Briar on Amazon for like ridiculous amounts of money. So people are buying them and reselling them on Amazon for stupid amounts of money. But these are the best chalk writing utensils ever like if you're looking for something to write really good on a chalkboard these are the best ones and they're by craft decor and this is the hot pink so i didn't have this color i have like purple and gold and silver and blue and white but i didn't have a hot pink but there are so many colors that i'm looking for so i can use them to do what i want to do on the chalkboards for the kids for school and they are literally impossible to find and i'm not paying all that money on Amazon. Amazon. So when I see them from the Dollar Tree, I go ahead and scoop them up. All right. I have no idea why my husband got this, but he did. Um, he was in the Dollar Tree with me and he saw this and he thought my daughter would be absolutely bonkers over this. I don't know why, but he said that it's beautiful and dainty, just like his little girl. So I don't know. This is not something I would have bought, but he picked it out. He wanted her to have it. So I grabbed it for him. Who am I to argue? But that night we literally went in. That was to get all of Mason's party supplies and then get out. So I'm actually going to roll you into that footage right now of the things that I picked up from Mason's party because I didn't have time to like sit down and do this. And we wanted to scout out our new Dollar Tree that's right around the corner from where we moved to. So him and I went to that one. I knew that I was going with Vanessa a couple of days later. So I wasn't really looking around. I didn't get really anything extra. I got what I needed for Mason's birthday and got out. So I'm going to roll you into that footage right now all right you guys a quick little impromptu dollar tree haul i'm sure i'm just going to insert this footage into another haul somewhere but i have a dollar tree right around the corner from my house that i have never been to and i needed a couple of things for mason's birthday so i just ran in there really quickly and i purchased these things and i just figured i will just insert them into you know the next dollar tree haul that i do so i did get mason a pinata and i needed a little bit more candy to fill it now if it was the first pinata that i got this little thing would have been more than enough but we did go and get a big pokemon pikachu kind of pinata from a party city they were awesome they had curbside pickup and i was able to score one big enough that needed more candy than what i've already bought so I bought two of the Palmer Cookies and Cream Snowmen. I thought that would be a good filler for inside. And then look, they have these Charms Mini Pops and they're the special edition. So it's cotton candy, toasted marshmallow, hot chocolate, blueberry pancakes, apple pie, and caramel corn. So there's 30 pops in each and I got two bags. So I think 60 pops will really, you know, help fill that thing. And then I got two of the little, these are just milk chocolate flavored balls, but they're like a Christmas tradition and Mason's all about Christmas. Even though he is having a bendy birthday, he still wants you know christmas themed things in there so i got two of those and then i got two of these these are just the holiday milk chocolate bells but they're like a nice size so i thought that would create a little bit of bulk to the pinata so i got two of those and then i also got a pack of erasers i don't know why i threw this in there but i always feel like pinatas shouldn't just have candy but most of the little toys that you can fit inside of a pinata are like 
tchotchke little things that you're going to throw away. So being that, um, you know, all the kids do schoolwork except Marissa's two little ones, I thought maybe these holiday erasers would still be fun. So I grabbed that and then I did get a Sharpie marker because I'm down a Sharpie and this is regular like Sharpie brand at the Dollar Tree, which is good. So I just got one of the fine tip black Sharpies because cutting to quickly down here, I got two white poster boards and one black poster board and I'm gonna try and make a bendy pin the tail. I don't know how I'm gonna do it quite yet. I thought I can use one of these to cut out tails for them to try and put on there. And then between this white sheet and this black sheet, I can make one. I don't know how much time I'm going to have for that. If I can't do it, I can't do it, but I promised Mason I would at least try. So I bought the two white poster boards for that and then the black, you know, for that as well. And I needed a Sharpie to be able to do a little bit of fine details. Now, if you can tell by the color scheme, Mason's theme to his party being that it's bendy is all black and white. And so I have one of the heavy duty plastic cutlery set. It's 16 spoons, 16 forks, and 16 knives. So that's more than we need. So I grabbed that. I grabbed one 15 pack of black latex balloons and a one 15 pack of the white latex balloons. And then I got a two pack of the white streamers and I got a two pack of the black streamers. And then I also got one black rectangle tablecloth and one white rectangle tablecloth and then I got these little treat bags they were the best that I thought would suit Mason so they're just clear with some white snowflakes on them so it's still kind of sticking with our black and white plus winter Christmassy theme so this is what I'm going to use for the kids for treat bags and then I just got one of the black larger plates I already got plates from Walmart but I thought these would be better for like some of the actual desserts that I'm making, I'm going to use these to serve them on because they're just small portions. So this should work out perfect. So that was it, you guys, for my little impromptu Dollar Tree haul. I shall now cut you back to me sitting there sharing a regular haul with you guys. So that's what I got for Mason's party. Nothing ridiculous, more or less just candy for the pinata and then, you know, some kind of paper goods and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it, you guys, besides these last few things. So I picked up a ton more Christmas cards because you guys are amazing. And I asked if you guys want to send a Christmas card, I will send one back. And I know the mail is crazy right now just because a lot of people aren't going home for the holidays and stuff and everybody is mailing things more than they normally would so I'm totally okay with getting Christmas cards after Christmas if you guys are too so my PO box is in the description box always so if you guys want to send me a Christmas card I'll go ahead and send you one back but I've received so many that I ran out of Christmas cards and so while I was in the Dollar Tree I went ahead and scooped up um, some cards so I can keep sending them back to you guys so I picked up this one and it says have a sweet holiday with all of the cookies on it and it says here's to a sugar coated holiday sprinkled with laughter and love and I love to bake and stuff like that and so I thought that was pretty cute that kind of speaks to me. And then I've spoke to you guys so many times about how we feel in this house about the word believe because of the Polar Express. So I found these and these really spoke to me as well with the candles and the ornaments and it says believe and the inside says may the magic of Christmas brighten your days and fill your heart with good cheer. So this one had 12 in it. This one had 14 in it, so I thought that was good. And then these are a little smaller, but they have 20 in there, and they're so, so cute. They ha looked like a, oh, is it various different ones? Oh, it is. Look at all the different ones that are on the back. I just thought it was the gingerbread house. See, I discover something new with you guys every time we sit down. You guys help me work out a whole bunch of stuff I wouldn't have noticed before. Well, I would have noticed when I opened the box, but you know what I mean. Um, so this has cats and Santa and snowmen and dogs and penguins and polar bears. So cute, this pack. And 20 cards, so a little smaller, but you get a lot for your money. So I got those, and then I got these because 
I have like a twine, like a string of twine that's hanging in my dining room. And I hang all the Christmas cards that you guys got me with clothespins off of the twine. Well, my first big twine that almost goes the whole length of my dining room is filled with your cards. And I'm out of clothespins and I'm out of room. So hubby has more twine for me, but I had no more clothespins. So I got 36 more clothespins to go ahead and hang up your Christmas cards on my twine so you guys keep them coming because i absolutely love them you have no idea the cheer that you guys are bringing me right now especially with everything going on and just everyone's holidays are different this year this is bringing joy and smiles to my face more than you guys will ever know all right you guys so that's it for this times vlogmas video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up i'm actually pretty proud of myself i think i did pretty good with being able to get through today's haul but i definitely am uncomfortable and i still have to put all this stuff away get up off the floor because it's a challenge to get up off the floor regularly but then now with my arm the way that it feels like i can't push myself up you know it's like big girl problems um and then i have to go cook dinner and still get my kids off to bed and we have a really big day tomorrow plus i have some other things that i want to film for another video to share with you guys coming up so i hope you're enjoying vlogmas it's certainly keeping me busy i love you guys all so much subscribe if you are new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys oh.